Hello, this is Bruce with Webucator. In this video, I'm going to show you a solution Wendy Neal came up with that involved using calculated columns in SharePoint. Wendy agreed to let us create this video showing her solution, which is available as an article on her blog at the URL shown here. In Wendy's scenario, she was tasked with creating an email message using a workflow. And in the email message, she wanted to wish users or employees happy birthday and she wanted to be able to get the birthday date information from list data, from columns within a list. But the real trick was that the birthday greeting or birthday wishing needed to be in the format of something like the fourth, third, second, where it had that two character suffix at the end of the day number. And that's kind of where the challenge came in. And this is also where Wendy's solution was to meet that challenge. So to demonstrate Wendy's solution, I've created a list in my SharePoint team site and you can see that I've got some sample data in the list. Right now it just has a name column and a birthday column. So we've got the name column and we have the birthday column and the birthday column is simply a date column. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an additional column that's going to use a calculated value to retrieve at first just the day value out of the date. That's actually the easy part. And then the harder part is creating the suffix. So let me go ahead and add a new column to this list. We'll call this column birthday day. I'm going to make this a calculated column. And then in a formula, we'll put in the equal. And then we're going to use the day function to retrieve out the day value of the birthday. And I'll just double click my birthday column to add that to my formula, finish with my right parentheses, click OK, and see if that works. You can see that that is working. It's taking the day value out of the birth date, calculating it and adding it in as a column. So now I want to create an additional column that's going to create that suffix that I'm looking for. And that's where the real challenge is. So I'll go ahead and start by creating a new column. Again, this will be a calculated column. We'll call this birthday suffix. Make it calculated. And for my calculation, I've got the formula already created and it's easier to bring me to show it here on this notepad where I can make the font a little bit bigger. So what this formula is made up of is a series of nested if else statements. And in the beginning if statement, let me highlight that. We have a OR statement. So the OR statement is looking at the birthday column, checking to see if the value is either 11 or 12 or 13. If it is, then this value after this comma is what's returned back, the TH. If it's not, then it enters into the ELSE portion, which you can see where I have the next nested IF statement. And then the next nested IF we're checking to see using a write function, which strips off just the rightmost value in the birthday day. And if the rightmost value is a one, then we're returning back an ST. If it's not, then we enter into the next nested if. This time we're looking for, again, the rightmost character, checking for a two. If it happens to be a two, we return back an ND. If it's not that, then we enter the last nested if statement, in this case, we're looking for the rightmost character being a three. And if it is, we're turning back an RD. If, if none of those if conditions match, then we instead return back the TH, which should match all the remaining values. So I'm just going to copy this whole formula, switch back to my Excel, paste it into my formula field, scroll down, click OK and see if it works. And indeed it is working. So any any change I make, let's change one of these birthdays. Let's say we'll change Bugs Bunny here. I'll edit. Modify his birthday value. Maybe we'll make it nine. Save it. And we can see that that changed the suffix to the TH. So the, nef the uh, nested if conditions are indeed working. 
Thanks again to Wendy Neal for the inspiration for this video. You can find more articles by Wendy on SharePoint-Community.net or visit wendy-neal.com for additional tutorials and information related to SharePoint. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it.